And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Ichthyovenador, which was a request from thieving raptor Lorenzo via our Patreon and Discord, so thanks. Ichthyovenador was a spinosaurid that lived in the early Cretaceous in what is now Laos. That is a fantastic name for a spinosaurid, like a, a fish snatcher. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, the genus name means fish hunter. <laughs> so the holotype's estimated to be 28 to 34 feet, 8.5 to 10.5 meters long, and weigh 2.4 tons. And Ichthyovenador had straight conical teeth, not serrated, and a reduced pelvic girdle. And its neck was similar to Sigilmosaurus, now Spinosaurus. It had tall neural spines on its back that made a sail, and it had a sail on its back and hips. This sail had a wavy or sinusoidal shape where it curved downwards and then split into two separate sails and it looks kind of like a piece of the sail is missing yeah just like spinosaurus i suppose it's a little different from spinosaurus spinosaurus had the very large sail i don't think ichthyovenator's sail was quite as large and the way it splits too it's literally like two pieces of a sail there's like a dip in the middle almost is it flat on the front or is it like a curved like curving up it looks like it's curving up, and then there's like a almost V-shaped dip. Well, it depends on the paleo art you look at. Interesting. I think I've seen people depict this and then Conca Venator, which has that just triangle-shaped bump on its back and like putting them together like puzzle pieces, <laughs> <laughs> like back to back. That's funny. So the sail may have been for display or species recognition or thermal regulation or for storing energy, all the same ideas we have for all spinosaurids. Ichthyovenador was probably semi-aquatic. Its tail spines were tall, that may have helped it swim, and it may have used its tail to help propel it through water. The paleo art, like I said, it looks really similar to Spinosaurus, especially the tail part, though the sail on the back, again, it's not as tall as Spinosaurus's. Ichthyovenador fossils were found in 2010. They found a partial skeleton, no skull, no limbs, but because it's a Spinosaur, it probably had an elongated snout and probably ate fish. It's usually a safe bet when you've got unserrated pointy, spear-like teeth. Mm -hmm. As a spinosaur, it also likely had strong arms and large thumb claws. It was described in 2012 by Ronan Alain and others. The type and only species is Ichthyovenador lausensis. And again, the genus name means fish hunter, and the species name refers to Laos, where it was found. More fossils were found in 2014, including teeth, vertebrae, and a pubic bone. It was reported to be the first definite spinosaur from Asia, but Siamosaurus had been named in 1986. However, that was known mostly from tooth fossils, and there may be two partial skeletons, but it's not yet certain if they are Siamosaurus. So a bit of confusion there. Originally, Ichthyovenador was thought to be part of the subfamily Baryonicinae, but it's now thought to be a primitive Spinosaurinae, and that's because of its non-serrated teeth and its vertebrae being similar to Sigilmosaurus or Spinosaurus. Other animals that lived around the same time and place as Ichthyovenador included sauropods, such as Tongveasaurus, ornithopods, bivalves, mollusks, fish, and turtles. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left.